Hi there guys, it's Chris from Anycolor Car, hope you're all well. Just going to give you a little virtual tour of the Mercedes E300 that's just landed in stock with ourselves. This is the Bluetech Hybrid as well, which like I said means it's got the hybrid engine, which means you'll get more mile to the gallon. It's also finishing this beautiful grey metallic colour, and also the upgraded alloys. These ones are the 17 inch alloys from Mercedes. Comes with Michelin tyres all round. And really does look the part. As you can probably see by the video, the car is in very, very good condition. Here at Any Colour Car, we do like to be open as transparent as possible. So there may be the age related marks, but we prep them to the highest of standards to keep our customers happy as they can be. All our lives are perfect. This one is also fitted with the parking sensors. If we open the boot. As you can imagine, it is absolutely huge. I like to describe these boots as post boxes because they've got the small hatch, but like I say, they do have a hell of a lot of room inside there. They've also got the little nets on the side as well. Very lovely car, right then. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into the interior of the vehicle. We'll have a look at the back seats first. As you can see, it's finished in this beautiful cream leather. And honestly, the seats are in such good condition for the age and the mileage of the vehicle. It also has the Isofix points down here as well, if you do need to carry children in child seats. Also, in the center, it's got the armrest, which also has some extra storage space there, and some cup holders. May just close like that, that comes down. Easy as that. Also has the cream door cards as well, just gives the more prestige look to this Mercedes. And on the front, like I said, as you can see, it, on every single door card, it has the cream leathers. Also has the electric folding wing mirrors, and there are obviously your window buttons. Has the electric seats down here. Again, seats are in great condition for the age and the mileage. And honestly, there's absolutely tons of room in here. You've got a little bit of extra storage down there which has a air freshener at the moment but tons of room jumping into the vehicle now honestly in this vehicle you do really need to sit in it to actually feel how much space there is it's nice and wide very comfortable and tons of storage so this is the armrest that you'll be greeted with one click of a button under there opens up Look inside, you've got two USB points down there. And like I said, it's a very, very deep compartment. This is what you use to control the entertainment system. It's all on this dial. And also, if we push this back, there's some more cup holders in there and a 12 volt as well. And this is con to control, obviously, the heating system in the vehicle. It's got your heated seats. That's how you turn the parking sensors off. And obviously heated seats on the passenger side as well. Honestly, one of the more prestige vehicles that we have. It really, really does look the part. It's got the Mercedes little clock. And if we turn around... This is what you'll be greeted with. As you can see, because it's the hybrid model, this is what it's going to look like on here. 
On the left hand side it has the charge. Obviously it does need some fueling. That's your rev gauge. And that's obviously your speeder. To change gear on the Mercedes, it's all done by this stock here. Very nice and easy and convenient to use. It's also got the auto lights. And obviously you can change it all through there and your fog lights is just there as well. So coming on to the entertainment system. So it's currently sat on the sat nav. So that's how you will be greeted with the sat nav. This is how you enter your destinations. Does look the part. Going back to the main menu again. Down slightly. This is the radio. Obviously you can change your channels just through the click of a button or the turn of a dial. You can also connect your Bluetooth through there so you can listen to your own music. Again, a couple more telephone settings. Also got your car settings, so like I say, you can look at the energy flow of the vehicle. What type of consumption you're getting, obviously you need to be driving for this one to show. couple little bits like about the vehicle for the owner's manual it was just loading but going back there we go so it's all on screen which is quite unusual for a car like this like I said normally you're just beginning of the book and the manual with the car but like I said, it's really good that you can actually view it just through the system and a couple of little settings there Lots of different little settings that you can change and play with. Also has this lovely titanium look on the dash, which follows onto the door cards as well. And that's all the way through. Really does look the part. With the steering wheel, this is what you're going to be greeted with. It's got the steering wheel controls there. And the steering wheel controls there as well. Obviously, you can change the settings that are on here. Let's get the focus go so you can have it on whatever you like like I said the assist the service settings like I said the mileage and the mileage currently sat on 71,709 you can have the navigation obviously to see where you're going to be going your audio telephone and like I said, the assist settings through there. Really nice, easy system to use. Like I said, click of a button. And you get exactly what you want. Alright then guys, so that concludes our tour of the Mercedes E-Class. If you do have any questions, like I said, you can pop down in store. Um, or give us a call or you can visit anycolorcar.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you've got from there. Thanks for your time.